Okay, we're installing our header boards here and I want to go ahead and make a mark here so we can cut the end of the board and uh, make it flush with the hoop as it, uh, so it doesn't stick out and puncture the plastic. So what I'm going to do is the end of the board is going to go back and I'm going to push it back to where it's flush with the outside of the purlin here. And I'm just going to simply take my marker right over the top of the hoop and use that hoop as a guide to mark the end of the board here. Okay, and now we've got a nice mark here that we can cut, and when we come back to install our header board, uh, we should just be able to line it right up, and we're not going to have any timber sticking past the line here where our plastic might rub up against it. Okay, we're going to mark the other end of our header board here, and I've left the board in place. And we want to make sure that the mark on the other end is still lined up, and I'm simply going to mark along the top of the board using the hoop as a guide. All right, so we've got a mark here now. Now, the one difference on this end is that we want to go ahead and mark the bottom of the board here on the outside of the purlin as well so that we can make a second cut to cut it to length here. So we'll cut over the top and then we'll cut it to length using this mark here on the bottom. Okay, so we marked our header board here and so now we're just gonna go ahead and make the cut and Mark's going to demonstrate for you how to how to make this angle cut to match the board with the curve of the hoop here. So Mark, go ahead, sir. All right. Most people would use a skill saw, which is fine, but we're normally working where we don't have access to electricity, so we tend to use uh, a good hand saw. So what you want to do is make a, just a little bit of a groove because it can be a challenge to cut at an angle. So you get your groove started. Once you've got a little groove in there, you can go ahead and make sure that you stay on your line. Get a, a thin groove all the way across the top of the board. And then you can adjust your angle so that you're not cutting so much of the board at one time. Right, on this board we also have the back cut right there so we want to square the end of this board off if you could put your foot on there Chris okay so Mark's going to demonstrate how to cut this header board to where it fits the curve of the hoop and uh, so we've got our mark that we made uh, while it was hanging on the purlins and uh, uh, Mark's just going to basically on this one just cut the corner right off the board here so that it fits in and doesn't poke out past the plastic when we hang this header board. Right. and you can use a skill saw for this we just tend to use a hand saw because we're in a lot of places that don't have electricity so we tend to just carry around a hand saw but you can use a reciprocating saw or a skill saw just as easily for this okay so the final step in installing our header board here we're gonna through bolt the board to the outside of the hoop here and we're gonna use a four inch uh, quarter inch carriage bolt and uh, our self-locking nut. Uh, so I'm gonna drill through the front of the hoop here and continue on through the board. I'm gonna use a 5 16th drill bit here just like we've been using for the rest of the project. And I'll go ahead and demonstrate that for you. Sometimes it can be hard to drill on these round surfaces. Okay, so we've got our hole here and we'll go ahead and insert the bolt. And lock it down with our self-locking nut. 
and we'll come back with the impact and tighten it down and we'll have our header board installed. All right, now we're ready to install our baseboard across the end of the tunnel. Uh, normally what we have to do is dig out a little bit to make sure that the top of your end baseboard is flush with the top of your side baseboard. So what we do is we just kind of take a look at it. It looks like we're sitting up a couple of inches here. So we're going to have to cut some of this trash out of the way. Uh, what we use is we carry around a grub hoe with us. Uh, just a good quality heavy tool to be sufficient. You don't have to cut out a lot. You just want to cut out exactly where the uh, baseboard's going to sit. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and match up our uh, the baseboard that goes across the front of the tunnel with the rest of the baseboard here and go ahead and install it with our wood screws. I'm just going to demonstrate that for you. I want to make sure that it's nice and flush both on the top here as well as on the outside of the boards. I'm going to go ahead and use four of these wood screws and uh, sc uh, screw them in from top to bottom here. Okay, so now we've got the uh, the baseboard for the front of the tunnel installed here. <laughs> 